<laughs> so this is Gorilla Physics from Port Aventura doing some of the physics of theme park rides. Hi there, so Gorilla Physics has come to Port Aventura near Barcelona in Spain to bring you a little bit, bit on some physics of roller coasters. Uh, you can see behind me Shambhala uh, and the red one there is Dragon Ride. So Shambhala is a kind of traditional roller coaster that has a long climb and then uses gravity to accelerate it. So actually what you're doing is using quite a low power motor to bring you up to the top and give you a lot of gravitational potential energy. And this is a kind of common mechanics GCSE question about the conversion between gravitational potential energy and kinetic energy. So we're saying that actually from the top it's got a lot of GPE, a lot of gravitational potential energy, and at the bottom it's got a lot of KE, a lot of kinetic energy. Okay, and that kinetic energy carries it over the next one, or around the loop the loops, and anything else it's got to do. It's actually free fall under gravity um, in those other times. There's a really useful little bit of algebra that you need to apply to situations like this when you're converting gravitational potential into kinetic energy. Well, gravitational potential is mgh, mass times gravitational field strength times height. And you're converting that into kinetic energy, which is a half mv squared. So actually, you should notice, if I just write out that equation for you, that there's an m on both sides of that. So actually, if you understand that your algebra there, you can cancel the m's on both sides, divide both sides by m, and you see that actually the relationship is independent of the mass. So if you know the height of something, you know the maximum speed at the bottom, regardless of its mass. And that's why actually, no matter if it's got people on it or not, the trolley will still reach the same speed around the part of the roller coaster. There'll never be a situation where the roller coaster won't get to the top of its climb or back to, um, or actually to the station at the end. So you've got to be really resilient with the algebra, or you've got to remember the rearranged form of mgh equals half mv squared. And there's a few different things they're going to ask you to do. So just remember, we're talking about conversion of gravitational potential energy into kinetic energy. And from that, as long as we know the height, we can know the maximum speed. It doesn't take into account air resistance. It doesn't take into account friction. Um, but we can actually model these roller coasters and do some pretty useful physics when we're designing them. But because you're using gravity as your main force for acceleration, the acceleration isn't all that rapid, and that's why they've developed a new breed of roller coasters that I'll tell you about in another video. So if you like this set of videos, then please go and check out my other videos at Gorilla Physics. If you think it's good enough, if I helped you out, then do it, subscribe, and why not tell your friends and share these uh, useful physics for your GCSE and A-level. Well, that's enough of looking at them. The only thing left to do is have a go. Feeling a little bit disequilibrious now after that, but uh, it was good fun. Um, obviously, thinking on the physics all the way around. Luckily, I hadn't had my lunch yet, so that's good news.